Welcome to the Stream of David on Om Times Radio with best-selling author, channel, and creator of the Taya Spiritual Practice, David Strickle, shares the eternal wisdom of the consciousness called the Stream. The Stream of David show is fun and informative and seeks to not only answer all your spiritual and life questions, but to also provide proven tools to navigate life's obstacles and find a path to joy, clarity, and abundance by hearing the Stream's no-nonsense, direct approach to spirituality. Prepare to have your mind blown and receive clarity on your life and the universe like you perhaps never have before. And now, your host... David Strickle. Hi, welcome to the Stream of David show. I'm here today with a very special guest, one of the true co-creators of Taya Boot Camp and the Taya Spiritual Practice, and my good friend Stacy Clinet. Hi, Stacy. Hey, David. How you doing? Thanks I'm doing for fantastic. Me on the show today. Yeah, no, good. it's uh, I've been excited to have you on, so I'm happy that you're able to take time to do this. I just uh, I, I want to first of all thank you for your co-creation of Taya Boot Camp. Uh, for those of you that have been listening to the show and the podcast uh, all along, you know that I started out a podcast, and that was the very first thing that I did. And then I published my book, and then I started a boot camp after that to teach the spiritual practice that I I co-created the idea of the practice with the stream in my own life and didn't even realize I was co-creating something for anyone other than myself. I was very selfish about it at that time. <laughs> and then when I started uh, with the intention to share it with the world, I uh, went and, and, and took some training and learned how to set up an online academy and start sharing this with the world. And I went on my podcast, that's all I had at the time, and said, hey, I'm starting this, uh, this boot camp. If anybody wants to join, let me know. <laughs> And Stacy was one of the first two people that dove right in. It was fantastic. And and Stacy uh, and the other person that started with us actually helped me create boot camp. It didn't even really exist when they joined, which was phenomenal that they would come in and, and, and do that. But they did. They had enough faith to come in and they both got fantastic results out of it. Mm -hmm. And now over two years later, Stacy is uh, in our mastery program. Yes. Yeah, Very so let's talk so. a little bit about, um, yeah, I don't want this just to be a running testimony of, of Taya Boot Camp, but this, the subject that I really want to dive into today is the value of being up your spiral up in high vibration and the value of allowing that source connection to flow more freely in our lives almost all the time. And I know that you're, yeah. you're mastering that now in Taya Mastery. So let's talk about that a little bit and, and the difference it's made for you. Oh, definitely. Well, um in the beginning, when I first found your podcast on Instagram, I was a long-term practitioner of spiritual um, practices, yoga, meditation, um, all kinds of different avenues that I had explored and had still left me wanting for something more, how to create more in my life, how to truly manifest the gifts that I really, really, really wanted to have, the, the fabulous relationship, the successful job the, um, you know, health, good looks, all that stuff. I was really, really just wanting to solidify it in a way where I had the ultimate faith that it would actually happen. And the Taya Boot Camp program is what really helped me take that leap into something that was concrete and a practice that I could do daily and still do daily to manifest my dreams, to manifest and it, I love that I just, I keep wanting more and more and more. So it's so much fun. I get to keep recreating um, the practice within my own life, in my daily life, to get to the next step. Well, what is it that I want next? What is it that I want next? I was single at the time when I found uh, David in the stream. And here I am married. We got married last September. Uh, it was a, a past uh, boyfriend of mine who I thought I'd never see again. And lo and behold, he's the one who I ended up marrying, which was awesome. It is it is awesome. It's not was. We're still <laughs> <laughs> He just took me on a fabulous Mother's Day weekend, you know. Uh, we have some great commonalities of love of outdoors and hiking and nature and um it's just been such a gift. Yeah, you, you guys um, do some uh some insane hiking and by insane I mean you you're hiking on steroids for sure because you'll hike <laughs> 
you, you did a 20 mile round trip hike yesterday, correct? Yep, we did that yesterday just so we could go soak in some hot springs. So uh, and I manifested, you'll love this, I manifested not a single soul in the hot springs besides he and I. And it's very public and there was quite a few people out there and it was just perfect. Not a single person. So, we so when you reached really your destination, even though there were other people hiking, you, you managed to be in a situation because your vibe was so high that you got exactly what you wanted was solitude in the springs. Exactly. Solitude and, you know, clothing optional. <laughs> <laughs> I love being able to be free in nature. That's truly you know, my expression of my highest uh, vibration of freedom in nature. And uh, it, it was spectacular. And even the hike home, you know, we hiked back and ran into some people that had some problems with their dog. And um, they weren't really sure what was going on. And I, I just had an intuition about things and kind of communed with the dog. And it was like, oh, well, he needs this. Well, he needs that. Well, let's make him a stretcher and get him to water. And it all just flew, just kind of went seamless. And these poor young women were so confused and upset. And I felt so calm and centered. And I knew exactly what the dog needed. As soon as I pulled out my lunch, I was going to snack on some, you know, salami and cheese. This dog lit up like a firecracker. And, you know, we realized he was a food-oriented animal. So that's how we could get him down the trail. Here, buddy, have a little. <laughs> you, you lured him down with salami. <laughs> yeah, we did. We got him back home with salami and cheese, and it was. Just, I was gonna say, if you fed that dog enough salami and cheese, the owners probably paid <laughs> paid the price for that that night. <laughs> Not my problem. That's right. You manifested the dog getting down the uh, down the down the trail. You don't need yeah. to worry about his digestion. No. <laughs> We we had the opportunity to like lift these women who were in a space of heavy distraughtness, um, really worried about their dog. They thought he was gonna die. They thought he was gonna just because when we came upon them, he literally was lying in the middle of the trail. He just was like, nope, not moving any further. Seventy pound animal, you know, that's not easy for two young. Oh, it's not, he was was he overheated or just overworked? Yeah, he was overheated. His paws were kind of fried from the hot sand. They had yeah. to all the way through. So it was good to, you know, to be able to come at it from a higher perspective and to realize, okay, this is just an obstacle that's here in front of me. And this is what yeah. you do when you're working the tire program. You know, this is that the perspective that you look at. You look at the higher viewpoint. What's this obstacle? How can we move this through this as joyfully, as easily, as quickly as possible? And, you know, we got her phone number, her boyfriend's phone number. When we got back to civilization, we text him and, you know, kind of like, pat myself on the back I get my gold you know karma star for the day <laughs> <laughs> so the the whole the, the the thing that's a lot of people don't understand about vibration is that when you're down in lower vibration nothing's really going to work because that's yep. that's negative creation territory so when your vibe is low you're you're going to have a bad day no matter what you're doing and if you aren't mindful of your vibration you can go out on a lovely hike and have something occur that, that's a lower vibrational occurrence. And if you let it, it will take you down even further. And, and it sounds like the dog owners, I'm sure set out to have a great you know, hike and a great day with their dog. And then their dog mm -hmm. didn't behave the way that they wanted the dog to behave. The dog you know, yeah. overheated, overtired, understandably just gave out. And then it sounds like maybe they went down in vibration themselves and there are no solutions down there. That's when you're down there and nothing's working, you're frustrated, then you spiral down even further because you build momentum in a negative direction. And we all do this. We've all had experiences like this. Yeah. And it happens, it happens to all of us. You know, one thing after another starts to stack up as one bad thing, another bad thing, another unwanted thing. And then you just keep going down. And that's why we talk about the spiral so much. But if yeah. you have the the higher perspective you're able to, to stop that downward trend and sort of back up from it for, for a moment and allow that higher vibration to just come through. Right. And my favorite technique um, is the one that I've actually used, again, back on the hike. We were hiking um, Ojai, California. It's high, deserty. Uh, it was warm. It was anywhere between 85 and 90 degrees. Not a lot of shade coverage, uh, plentiful water, so you could, you know, take a dip and whatnot. But there are times when I could feel my body getting hot, my my mental attitude getting grumpy. It's hot. I'm tired. Oh, my feet hurt. And it's like, whoa, 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 stop. 
what can I appreciate in this very moment? And blessed be, there were so many amazing wildflowers along the trail. And so all I had to do was look to my right or to my left and see a spectacular lupin blooming or a full bush of cyanosis blossoming in its glory. And instantly I'm back up my spiral. So that's one of the things I love about using the Taya practice is that you've got that opportunity to find that little thing to appreciate, whether it's I like writing with this purple pen or I'm having an amazing cup of coffee or even when my husband got kind of grumpy, I thought to myself, isn't he adorable? He's so cute and grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much better in a relationship to do that rather than trying to fight fire with fire, right? When one is down. Oh, yeah, when, when Michael goes down his spiral, I just sort of laugh at him a little bit. Like, oh, you're just down your spiral. You'll be okay. And, you know, he doesn't always want to hear that when he's down there. But, yeah. <laughs> but you know, my attitude is I'm not going to go meet you down there. So you can stay in there if you want, but I'm going to be up here in higher vibrational territory as much as I can. And of course I'll dip down every once in a while too, but I'm pretty good at getting myself out of it now with these tools. Mm -hmm. But you know, that's, that's what we do in boot camp is we get in and learn all of the key components, uh, the four pillars, if you will, to, to raising your vibration and not just raising it in the moment, but really keeping it in a higher state all the time. And when you raise your default vibration, like you're saying, Stacy, that's the, the, all the things that happen in your life are the byproduct of that. You're just naturally manifesting more of the things that you want. And then I've gotten to a, a phase now to where I don't even, I, I, I'm not that intentional about what I want anymore because I've learned that if I just keep my vibe high and set an intention toward general well being or thriving, that that mm -hmm. will be. That will be, yeah. and, and it will be in ways that I couldn't have even come up with on my own. So I don't even need to be as intentional about things now as I used to be, because now I, I kind of want to see what the universe is going to do for me. I'm sure it's going to be better than anything I can come up with, right? <laughs> yeah. That's actually, you know, 20 miles um, is a long way to hike. And so my mind was playing over different conversations we've had, the mastery meeting we had last week and how we were talking about being up for the spiral and how we can get attached to being down our spiral. And so I'm mulling all this over in my head and just kind of letting it roll around and realizing, you know, the more faith, the more trust, the more I allow the universe to surprise and delight me, the better I feel, the higher my vibration goes, the more that perpetuates, more good stuff comes more cool people into my life, more amazing experiences. And I'm delighted again and back and joy. And then it just, it's like keeps going up, up. And I'm to the, pretty much to the point that you are, where I'm not trying to imagine what my ultimate goal is any longer. I'm just like, wow, this is awesome and so much fun. And I want to see what's next. What's next if I keep my vibe this high? What else can I be surprised and delighted by? It's kind of like being a, you know, little kid on Christmas morning, you walk in and you're like, yeah, I got a present. You know? <laughs> exactly. It's, it's what, you know, what, what can I attract that's positive into my world? And it's not always just about stuff. We talk about stuff a lot. We all like material things. We're living in a material world. Certainly there's nothing wrong with wanting stuff. I always just caution not to think that the stuff is going to really bring joy if you're not joyful first. That's, yeah. a, that's a very important point of Taya is, is finding our paths to joy and clarity first and understanding that the abundance is the byproduct of that. When you're really yeah. high in vibration and you're experiencing joy and you're appreciating all these little elements that perhaps you used to take for granted, like the birds chirping and the, the breeze and the blue sky and the beautiful flowers and all the things that you were talking about a moment ago, all of that stuff, mm -hmm. you, I hope everybody listening really pays attention to those little things in life every day that we can find to appreciate. There's always things to find to appreciate, but sometimes when we're down in lower vibration, we can't find those things. The, the yeah. stream has said that we get intoxicated on being down the spiral or DTS, and we go I down there that in that term. lower vibration and it's it, we're sort of intoxicated with it. And you can't even remember what it's like to be in higher vibration anymore. You don't have access mm -hmm. to that, that vibe. So your, your then vibe is, is lower vibration and you're going to attract lower vibration people into your life. 
you're going to have lower vibrational circumstances in your job or your business and your bank account, your health, uh, you're going to internalize that stress and it's going to lead to, to your body not feeling as good as it can or even the manifestation of health problems. All of yeah. that comes from from disallowing, you know, not allowing the things that you want to flow to you naturally as they will if you simply get out of the way of the universe and let the universe take care of you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, like you're saying, if, if well-being and good health is your desire, then focusing on how you're already well and healthy, you know, or I'm sitting here having a conversation with you. I'm not infected by any virus. I'm healthy. I still have food in my refrigerator. I can, you know, continue to feed my body very well and take myself on a, you know, multiple mile hike and still come back the next day and get out of bed and stand on my own two feet, which is exciting at the age of 55. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna I wasn't gonna out you with the age, but I was gonna say, you know, north yeah. of fifty and, and we both are, you know, north of fifty. Mm -hmm. If I'm not making noise to get up, I'm doing really well. You know, much yeah. less <laughs> much less taking a you know, twenty mile hike, which I have not done. I have not done a twenty mile hike. Um, I, I do more of my uh, working out in the gym than in nature. You're, you're more of a nature person than I am. I do like a hike, though. I yeah. love the, the hiking that's available around Palm Springs, but I, I'm not going nearly yeah. as far as you are. And I like to take my dog. And, of course, she's a French bulldog. She can't be out in this heat at all uh, because yeah. they have trouble breathing as it is. But, you know, just getting her out for a little bit is always good exercise. And she's she's pretty um, energetic. But she she throws in the towel after a little while. You know, she's really done after, <laughs> you know, a, a mile or two. She's pretty much done. I couldn't imagine, a, you know, a nine-mile hike with any dog. They're just going to give up. And they're going to be done for the most part. Pretty much so. so we, did find, we did see a couple of them that were pretty cute, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, dogs love being outdoors. And a lot of times, especially now, we're not taking them and doing lots of play dates and stuff. We're all kind of stuck at home. So it's good to just be able to get out into nature. And, and you know, we take her for a walk yeah. around the neighborhood every day, but a hike's a whole different story. So we're going to talk more about keeping the vibe high. We're going to bring the stream in in the next segment. And Stacy's going to take over and host and uh, ask the stream questions. And you will probably get the answer to some of your questions uh, just through osmosis. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Conscious Media for Conscious Minds, Ohm Times. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Ohm Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. It is time to celebrate self-discovery and personal growth. But you know, your efforts have to be consistent in order to stay balanced and to overcome depression and fears. So, what new books are available? How do you stay centered? Elizabeth Joyce and her guests will help you find out. That's Elizabeth Joyce on Let's Find Out, Mondays at 6 p.m. on OM Times Radio. The Thai spiritual practice is changing lives all over the world. Listen to what just a few of our Thai boot camp graduates have to say about this life-changing experience. This work is profound. If you do the Thai boot camp and maintain a daily practice, you will fundamentally change your life. I've maintained my practice pretty regularly since graduating. I meditate every day. I trust the universe to deliver what I want. I set intentions for my day and I monitor my vibe up and down my virtual spiral. Doing these things consistently and regularly has made me a better father to my kids, a better lover to my partner, and a better boss to my team. This work is transformational and it will completely change your life. I can't recommend it enough. I'm happier than I've ever been in months, years. You know, just learning how to live life again. I'm living proof. This course is amazing. It's life changing. Visit thestreamofdavid.com slash TYA to learn more and book your free discovery meeting today. A social distancing tip. Putting distance between yourself and others is critical to slowing the spread of coronavirus. So here are ways to stay in contact without the physical contact part. 
Call, send a text, set up a video conference, post on social media, dedicate a song on the radio. If you have symptoms of fever, dry cough, and shortness of breath, call your health care provider before going to their office. For more info, visit coronavirus.gov. Let's all do our part, because we're all hashtag alone together. Brought to you by the Ad Council. We are here. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me along with you at this radio program. This is quite fun. So David and I were just talking briefly about being up your spiral. We realized that some of our listeners might be newer to this concept. And so I was going to ask the stream to elaborate. What exactly does it mean to be up your spiral? Up your spiral is is a term that, that, that we have come up with so that humans can better understand what high vibration means. These are all human terms. We, we are speaking to you via David using human terminology. And, and we want you very much to understand that this is your natural state of being, first of all. Your high vibrational state, your, your, your state of trusting the universe to deliver everything that you truly want and need is your natural state of being. And, and, and the lower vibrational state is natural as well, but it, it is not intended to, to be a state where you, for lack of a better term, stick yourselves on an ongoing basis. Uh, positive is always more powerful than negative. And the lower negative vibrational territory exists to, to, to if you will, deliver a, a, a mix of things in your lives so that you're not just coming here and, and, and living lives of, of, of ease and awareness and, 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 and strictly what you would call abundance, having everything that you want all the time. You are obviously not here for that, obvious to, to, from our perspective at least. And the reason that you want down the spiral time is because that down the spiral time is your negative creation time. This is a universal law, the, the law of polarity. In fact, the, the law of attraction and the law of polarity are the only two universal laws that are true universal laws. Everything else is a human construct that is that is sort of an offshoot of that, a spinoff of those two laws, if you will. All creation occurs via attraction, all. Everything that you're experiencing in your bubble of reality is your creation. And notice that you all have a mix of positive and negative going on, things that you want and things that you do not want. And notice that when you have things that you do not want, very often you are inspired to change that scenario. And in your inspiration to change that scenario, you are creating new things. E even if that new creation is nothing more than a, than a better thought, a, a trip up the spiral, if you will, an improvement. But generally, most of your creations in your lives are a result of unwanted things. You identify things that are not your preference and you set about correcting that in one way or another, whether you're, you're changing something, you're creating something new as a solution, you're, you're evolving to a better version of, that's all new creation. And it's important to understand that the, the, the lower vibrational time, the, the, the down the spiral, if you will, is intended to be brief and intended for you to do on occasion. And, and polarity is going to take you down there regardless of your projected thought every once in a while. And you go down into this lower vibration, you create some unwanted things. But the natural state is for you to return to your higher vibrational place. You, your higher vibrational place is your connection to our energy. You all have a connection to, to, to this energy that you are encountering through David right now. You all have your own version of that which you may call the stream. And, and your own version of that is, is your higher self. It is also what you refer to as source. For we are the source of all creation, but you are as well. You are all co-creators of the universe. Through your projected thought, through your desires, through your wanting more, through your evolution, that is what continually creates and recreates the entire universe. And, and we are the spark of creation for all of that. We are original thought. So being up the spiral is, is very much about you being connected to your higher self, your source energy connection, where all of the new creation, the new positive creation is going to come from. All of the things that you want are up your spiral. 
all of the things that, that, that you desire, you're going to achieve by being up in high vibration. And understand that regardless of what you do as a human being, you are always going to have this fluctuation. Polarity is always going to, to tug your vibration, if you will, up and down your virtual vibrational spiral. But the reason behind that is so that you have this flavorful life experience. You have this mix of both positive things to enjoy and, and negative or unwanted things to, to create from, to overcome. And that creates your expansion and contributes to the expansion of the entire universe, including our energy. So it's very important that you understand what your virtual vibrational spiral is all about. And, and very important, if you want to absorb these teachings, that you understand that, that your vibration is creating your reality. And if you have lived enough life to where you look back and perhaps see yourselves as a victim at some point, so somebody did something to you that was not via your invitation, it's important to understand that you are not intentionally going out and attracting unwanted things in your lives. When the, 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 the term law of attraction is mentioned and we begin teaching these things, David will inevitably receive a message or an email or, or, or something from someone stating that there is no way anyone would, would intentionally attract having cancer or being murdered or, or being abused or something unwanted in their lives. It, it is not always about intention. Attraction and intention are two different things. And, and, and your point of attraction is always in flux. So you are always receiving what you are focused upon. And notice that when you are down in lower vibrational territory, your focus tends to be more negative. You are more fearful. You are more pessimistic. You, you are more worrisome down there. And therefore, you are absolutely attracting unwanted things when you are in that state. And you all visit there on occasion. But when you go up your spiral, when you go up in vibration, you are up believing your dreams, you're trusting your abundance, you are attracting the things that you want into your life. And you're all getting a mix of positive and negative. And you all know someone in your lives that is generally positive focused and generally receives more of the things that they want and solves their problems with ease. In fact, you may even believe they don't have problems. Whereas you also all know someone in your lives that is generally down in lower vibrational territory and their lives are a mess. They are, they are manifesting a lot of things that they don't want and they really focus on that and they sing that song over and over again and you see them continually manifesting unwanted things and then perhaps you go to them as their friend, you care about them very much, you wanna tell them about the law of attraction and the first thing that you're gonna receive is pushback. No, I do not manifest these things. I was a victim. Someone else did this to me. It's not my mm -hmm. fault. It's never my fault. I don't do it. That's what you hear. And that's a real world, not quite scientific, but certainly real world example that you all have in your lives to prove to yourselves the validity of that which we share. Mm, I like that. I like that a lot. So you mentioned um, the term virtual vibrational spiral. Let's go back and revisit that a little just so we can define that for people who are possibly new to the program. Your vibration can be high or low. High is positive, source connection, loving yourselves, loving your world, seeing things from a positive lens. When you go down in vibration, you are down in the opposite of that. You, you are perhaps not liking yourselves as much. You are you are not optimistic, you're fearful, you're jealous, you, you, you are some sort of what you would refer to as a negative emotion. We do not judge any of it because we, we from our perspective, see the value in all of it. In fact, in the, in the Taya practice, we guide all of the Taya practitioners to see the value in both positive and negative, thus no longer fearing the negative and therefore not manifesting as much of it in their lives. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and when you, you meet your obstacles in joy, as we like to say, because you're going to go down in vibration on occasion and, and manifest things that you do not want. And, and when you're able to go down in vibration and, and you have the tools to pull yourself back up, your negative manifestations are going to be further apart and they're going to be less intense. You're going to understand that the universe always sends little warning signs via your invitation. You will go down your spiral, you, you'll receive a little negative emotion. And those of you in the Taya practice understand that that little bit of negative emotion is a warning light that goes off in your lives to move up mm -hmm. in vibration, to find things to appreciate. We use the term the spiral and it is virtual. You, you are not 
actually operating on a spiral, but your emotions absolutely do spiral up and down, as you all know. You can build positive momentum. You can start finding things to appreciate, finding things to love, looking on the brighter side of life and move up in a spiraling motion, if you will, virtually up into higher territory. Or you can allow yourselves to dip down into negative and you can focus on that negative. You can fear that negative. You can have these negative emotions that, that spiral down further and further and further and gain momentum and intensity on the way down all the way down to, to, to fully loathing your lives and, and yourselves and, and, and seeing the very worst of humanity. And, and, and notice that when you're down in that lower vibrational territory, more often you're going to see more negative things. You're going to encounter more negative things. You're going to have experiences with more of what you would consider negative people. If you are experiencing a lot of what you may call toxic people in your life, the first thing that we will do is, is ask you to go look in the mirror. And, and, and we are not necessarily saying that you indeed are a toxic person. You can manifest toxic people in your lives because of your disdain for them, because you are focused mm -hmm. upon them. You're focused upon what you don't want. And in doing that, you can manifest people in, in situations and circumstances and events of that nature into your bubble of reality. Definitely. So that's based, the basic concept, energy follows thought. Indeed, it does. All creation begins as, as, as thought. It begins as imagination. All creation, always. Consciousness, it, it begins as consciousness, and the ball begins rolling in, in a direction. Momentum builds. Your trust and your belief in something brings it to, to full physical reality. The only thing that stops the things that you desire from coming to full physical reality is that you allow yourselves to go down this spiral refocus on them, visit them again, and doubt and worry and fear and impatience. And when you do that, you are creating static in your vibration regarding that thing that you want. And when you create the static, it slows and sometimes even halts the arrival of the things that you want. This is why it's very often true that the things that you want most, the things that you believe you need to be happy, are very often the most difficult things for you to manifest. Indeed. Until we have faith that the universe will bring it to us just by the allowance of our energy to be higher and higher up the spiral. So and we're we're against this. Oh, go ahead. We were going to say that we also teach intentionality, but truly you do not even need to be that intentional in your thoughts. If you just are mindful of keeping them positive in general, you are going mm -hmm. to have a very joyful, very abundant life experience. And, and, and from that higher vantage point, the more intentional you are, the more of the things that you are intending to manifest are going to manifest. But sometimes you get so intentional that that intention turns to need and then the impatience sets in, the vibration drops, and, and you're actually chasing away that which you desire. <laughs> it's remarkable how we know how to do that. <laughs> so during this time, the pandemic quarantine, were a lot of those fearful thoughts down the spiral uh, vibrations can be occurring for folks. What is the best way to navigate it and to keep our vibration higher up the spiral? The, the very best way is, is, is to truly detune fear in your lives. Understand that, that, that the only thing that fear is, is going to produce for you is more things to be fearful of and stress in your body. And the stress in your body can turn to illness. And, and, and it, it, again, is a negative spiral. You're going to continue to spiral down in, into negative territory the more you focus on these things. The, the very best way to not allow fear to set in is, is to take complete control over your bubble of reality. Stop looking at anything that's happening in your world, including the, the, that which you have labeled the pandemic. We're calling it a reset. Understand yeah. that that is not a condition that was thrust upon you. That is a condition that was a manifestation of the collective consciousness desire to disrupt the way that you're living your lives. Because almost every single one of you have something about your modern day lives that you dislike that has been disrupted during this time. And if you understand that this is your collective manifestation across humanity and that you are part of it 
and that it is indeed a global reset, and it is indeed a, a symptom of, of the collective vibration ascending to a higher level. And if you look at it like that, if you look at it from a higher perspective of, of no judgment, of understanding that everything serves the expansion of the universe and everything in, in your lives are a reflection or a mirror of the universe. So if everything serves the expansion of the universe, then everything serves your expansion as well. And, and, and we are speaking your, your eternal expansion as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a complete whole soul consciousness being, not just a physically focused human being. And, and expansion, it, it, since you are energetic at your core as we are, expansion is the name of the game, if you will. Expansion is, is, is your purpose. It is to continue to grow and expand and, and create and, and in creating in that process of growing and expanding and, 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 and making more and evolving and, and getting better and getting wiser and seeing with more clarity. And, and, and the, the positive message that we will depart with is that you have the ability to shift that, to make these shifts while you are here focused physically as a human being on planet Earth, regardless of your age, regardless of your past experience, you can begin making those shifts to, to a higher vibrational territory of more clarity, more joy, and ultimately more abundance. And understand that when you are joyful and you are clear, your version of abundance will evolve to a higher version of abundance, and, and your lives will be like you've never imagined. Mm -hmm. With much love. Isn't that? That is all we have. Thank you. Thank you. Always an extremely powerful message of self-empowerment from the stream. I never walk away with feeling like I didn't get um, the highest vibe infusion. It's a quite a remarkable experience, and I would feel blessed to have them as my friends. Very good. I'm back. I don't know exactly what transpired with their interaction, but I am back. <laughs> All right. We're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be right back with Stacy Clinet. Thank you, Stacy. Sure. Feed your soul with waves of consciousness on Ohm Times Radio. Ohm Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment, a philanthropic organization. Their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Ohm Times co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. The student asks the teacher, how do I experience transformation? The teacher replies, when the student is ready to receive deeper answers, the student then asks, how do I know what deeper questions to ask? And the teacher replies, when the student decides to commit to a practice inviting transformation, level two questions will be revealed. Hi, I'm Tomas Garza, and as a teacher and host, I'm inviting listeners to enroll in the Mastery of Transformation by joining me on Decide to Transform, your bridge to Level 2 Answers, Tuesdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on Ohm Times Radio. The Thai spiritual practice is changing lives all over the world. Listen to what just a few of our Thai boot camp graduates have to say about this life-changing experience. I see Taya overflowing in every aspect of my life. It's just truly magnificent. There were times that I was not self-assured and didn't have the self-confidence, but now I'm fearless. I really love myself and I know how to live in joy and let go of all these things that held me back from living this beautiful life I've always dreamed of. And it's amazing how rapidly those things start showing up once you practice Taya. It changes everything about you and it, it, it will affect all other aspects of your life, your health, your, your career, your money, your relationships. And I think that certainly has helped with my anxiety, with my mental health. 
I'm realizing that, wait a second, I do deserve the best in life. Visit thestreamofdavid.com slash TYA to learn more and book your free discovery meeting today. Opiates has taken everything and everyone I've ever loved away from me. Everything. I blew my ankle out and I got prescribed pain pills by my doctor. If making my detox public is going to help somebody, I'm all for it. So I just wish I would have had a warning. Opioid dependence can happen after just five days. Know the truth. Spread the truth. A message from Truth, the Ad Council, and ONDCP. And we are back with Stacy Clinet. Uh, kind of want to unpack what the stream shared. Uh, <laughs> Uh, if you want to share a little bit about uh, the last segment where we were uh, sharing the stream's message. Yeah, I, I think the thing that really struck me most is um, viewing this quarantine as a global reset and that it is a collective desire to change the way we have been previously living our lives. That it isn't we are subject to receiving some horrible you know, virus that's been set loose on planet Earth to destroy us. No, this is this is everybody. The stream pointed out very clearly. Every single one of us had an aspect of our lives, and in, the, in these modern times, it was no longer suiting us. So, this collective is creating a global reset. So we can stop. So we can look. So we can notice what works, what doesn't work and make powerful choices forward. And I think that's one of the reasons why the TIA boot camp program is so amazing, because we can use that tool to truly manifest a change after the global reset. We don't have to sit back and wait for it to happen. We can start to co-create with the universe and make our lives truly what we want it to be. Yeah, you know, it's interesting that, that my interaction with, um, you know, the, the boot campers that are in boot camp now and my interaction with the graduates and the, the people that are in the mastery program, everyone's doing really well right now. No one's uh, freaking out about any of this. Everyone's doing well financially. Everyone seems to be doing well emotionally. The feedback that I'm getting is you know, these tools are really helping everybody navigate what is, uh, you know, from, the, from my vantage point, it's not a difficult time at all. I'm just rolling right through it. Are there things that I can't do right now that I would like to do? Sure, but it seems to be working yeah. on perfection that in my life, this, this quarantine time, I just moved into a new home. We're getting all this set up, uh, finishing the little remodeling projects here and there with, with the house. It was completely redone and, and doing all these little things. I'm busy. I'm keeping myself busy. I'm enjoying you know, the downtime of, of just spending time at home with the dog and with Michael. And it's just, I'm just kind of rolling right through it. And I'm very grateful that I have a spiritual practice that just allows me to, to be eager about what's next, whatever next is, and not needing to control the outcome so much. Because not long ago, I've understood the law of attraction my whole life. I tell this story on here all the time. But it wasn't very long ago that with these tools, I was trying to be more intentional with my manifestations. And I was really successful at, at manifesting a lot of things. In fact, I've manifested mm -hmm. in every yeah. important, you know, weight loss, money, uh, great relationship, you know, all of the things everybody wants to be happy. I've manifested all of those things. But I'm not living in perfection. In fact, the, the, the weight loss is a challenge for me now <laughs> that I'm cooking and eating all the time. <laughs> like, wow, I'm gonna go back to that old, uh, the, I'm not gonna go back to that old version of me at all, but you know, certainly I put on a few pounds during the uh, not going to the we gym. And, and, yeah, uh, Stacy, I made this pasta the other night. It was so good. <laughs> Oh, lovely. Pasta I with, Dutch baby yet. <laughs> yeah, I made a Dutch baby. I made uh, this, this pasta. And I love simple. I, I don't like super fancy, super complicated recipes. And it was just, I bought some really good uh, olive oil at Jensen's. And I thought, okay, this is too good just to use for cooking. I've got to you know, make some stuff out of it. So I did a pasta mm -hmm. with olive oil and garlic, and it was so good. And we get we ate late. It was 10 o'clock at night. We're eating pasta. <laughs> okay, can't, can't do that long term. <laughs> 
Can't do yeah, that long term. Yeah, really. of enjoying it is all, it's all we really need, right? Well, I, I have learned to do that. I've learned to not beat myself up about it and yeah. enjoy it and appreciate it. And if my body starts to give me signals that what I'm eating isn't working for me, then I make changes. Yeah, yeah. It's I have a girlfriend who that. likes to put herself on the uh, she puts herself on an ice cream diet, and she swears that everything every time she goes on her ice cream diet, she loses ten pounds. It's all. Well, you know, it, it all goes down to our belief system, right? So if she believes that, then that's yep. going to work for her. Yep. But the key is you have to really believe it. And we're taught so yeah. many, you know, scary things about just about all food, you know, just oh, about everything, right. right? Right. Yeah. Food, contact with other people right now, um, you know, travel. It's like, don't be foolish, but at the same and you know, keep yourself safe, but don't be afraid. Don't be freaking Yeah, there's some there's it. there's some extremes going on out there right now. All yeah, fear driven. Right yeah, all fear driven extremes. Polarity. You know, I have Yeah. Yeah, I have friends that are just terrified of, of any, you know, contact at all, and then I have others that are doing whatever they want to do. And I am not worried about getting anything. I'm not worried about catching anything, but I'm still taking the smart precautions. I'm I'm putting on a mask when I walk into a store. I'm using hand sanitizer. Uh, I wash my hands. I, I do stuff like that just naturally. But if you're doing it just out of knowing that you're feeling safe and secure and doing it and just following some simple medical advice, I think that's a pretty high vibration. If you're doing it because you're terrified of getting getting sick or catching something, then yeah. you're probably attracting something of, of, of that nature into your life. And I just don't want to go down that path. Yeah. Which I was going to share with you I'm also. Right there with you. Have yeah. you seen this this uh, this video that was going around called Plandemic? Yeah. <laughs> I think everybody's seen it, right? Well, and, and it's a conspiracy theory about the pandemic, and it's uh, yeah. you know implicating uh, different people that, that are very well known right now. And I, I I got drawn into it and started watching it for a moment, and it lowered my vibration a bit. And you know me, the first thing I do is say, "Is this worth me going down my spiral about?" And my answer is almost exactly. always no. And I stopped and I breathed and I, I raised my vibration. I immediately got, it doesn't matter whether it's a conspiracy or not. We create our own bubbles of reality. And if we go down the rabbit hole of a conspiracy theory and let that lower our vibration, that's the key. Then we're going to have a negative experience because of it. But if we yeah. simply back away and realize, hey, I create my own bubble of reality. I'm not, whether it's a conspiracy or not, whether this this uh, pandemic is you know a human creation directly or vibrationally, what difference does it make? Really, what difference does it make? And, and do, are we going to have our vibration drop delving into that stuff? If you can read that stuff and not lower your vibration, I don't think it's going to impact you. But for me, it was starting to lower my vibe a little bit. And generally, news doesn't. But that did. And I thought, you know, I don't need to be a part of this. You know, true, yeah. not true. Whatever that's all about, I just don't need to absorb this. I need to pay attention to managing my vibration. Yes, I'm right there with you. I, I'm sticking with my bubble of reality, uh, safety, you know, taking the necessary precautions when I go out, which is rare. But I'm also enjoying the time that I have to explore what it is that I want next. How can I powerfully step into my next phase of reality? my bubble of reality, my up the spiral little, you know, haven that I've enjoyed and continue to enjoy since um, graduating from boot camp and interacting with the community. That's the other great thing about the Taya Boot Camp program is that we have a great community. We have support. We have um, online uh, conversations. and So you're not just kind of left out um, tossing in the wind after you've got the great practice underneath your uh, belt. You have the opportunity to talk to other people who have the same mindset, who want to keep their vibration high. And I believe that's extremely valuable. It is for me. So, yeah, definitely. You well, you know, we, we have boot camp that you go through. It takes about 12 weeks now to go through boot camp. And that's an intense training program where you really do learn the tools of the Taya practice. And you, you mm -hmm. uh, find appreciation for all your transgressors. You learn to manage your spiral. You really get good at meditation. You understand what meditation is really about, uh, how to do it effectively. And you learn to be very intentional with your life. And mm -hmm. 
ultimately learn to not have to be so intentional because things start just going so well for you. But for a while, it's helpful to be very intentional because that intention is what keeps you up your spiral and high vibration. And that intention is what creates what happens next. So that's that's a very important step for people to go through. When I say that I'm not as intentional now, I don't want people to think that it's not important. I think I've just gotten to a vibrational space where I don't have to be as intentional as I used to be. I can really simply have an intention toward abundance and well-being, and, and it will be. It is. Yeah. So the the community part is very important because there's so many people in boot camp, and we have people in boot camp from all over the world. There's so many people in boot camp that don't have anyone in their lives that operate their lives with these tools or even have this yeah. sort of belief system or even understand law of attraction necessarily. And of okay. course, it's a, it's a mindset practice. It's also really a spiritual practice that deepens your connection with source. And there's no rules. There's no judgment. You know, there's no worship going on. It's not about that at all. It really is tools for you to live your life with great intention being up in high vibration most of the time, releasing fear and, and allowing the universe, trusting the universe. Uh, TIA stands for trust your abundance. And, and you trust the universe to deliver everything. And it will if you get out of your own way and let it. And we, we've all found that to be I true, know. right? Yes, very much so. And it really um, helps you to step into a powerful space around your connection with yourself, your source your world that you create. And that's that's what I keep going back to over and over again. It's like, where do I want to be empowered in my life? And, uh, you know, across the board, it's everywhere. So why wouldn't I take on a practice that helps me to achieve that goal in every aspect, every facet of what's going on for me in my life currently, what I'd like to create in the future, who I want to interact with, who I want to draw into my life, into my bubble, and, you know, just I find it extremely exciting. This global reset I also find extremely exciting. I can't wait. I mean, there's been such amazing creativity with music and poems and videos and funny things that people have been doing just to reach out to make other people laugh, uh, to share their gifts, to share their cooking skills. Um, I have one friend go through a whole very awkward face, um, uh, Facebook thing. It was it was adorable. I loved it, and I wanted him to make more. Um, it's, it's so neat to see people express that inner part of themselves that you wouldn't get an opportunity to see because we're sitting back and kind of having a, okay, how well, can I entertain myself today, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, the stream says there's contrast out. on all topics, so there's certainly positive coming out of, of this reset. Oh, yeah. The environment is improving. We're all learning that we can do things that we thought we couldn't do. You know, I thought I was past being able to do a lot of uh, things myself around the house. Well, now that's our only option a lot of times. You know, I've installed yeah. televisions and <laughs> set up wiring and set up uh, speaker systems and uh, put together, a, we ordered a new bed and they delivered the bed to the doorstep. They wouldn't bring it in the house. So we right. put the bed together. I haven't done things like that in years, you know, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> It's a, it's a different way of living life, but it's okay. You know, a lot of people do stuff themselves all the time, and I can do it too. So it was just nice to prove to myself at 52 that I can still do some things myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you still know the difference between a crescent branch and a, a what is the kind of monkey branch type of thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I've used tools more, I think, in the last month than I've used probably in the last 20 years probably. So, yeah, I've, I've always been yeah. a big fan of hiring somebody that knows what they're doing to come in and do it right. <laughs> <laughs> that was not an option this go around. <laughs> but my TV is functioning. My Sonos music is functioning. Uh, Alexa is functioning. Mm -hmm. There we go. I shouldn't have said her name. <laughs> 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 I need to get that out of the room where I do a radio show, right? Uh, so yeah, I just, I, I definitely want to thank you for coming on. It's always so much fun to, to have you here. We're, we're going to wrap up in a couple thank of minutes. You. but. The, the, the Taya thing is uh, you can learn Taya by joining our Facebook group. Uh, it's called mm -hmm. Global Reset uh, at the moment. It's going to be the Taya group pretty soon. But right now we're really focusing on the Global Reset that's going on. So we dedicated the Facebook group to that for this time period because we, we are experiencing a global reset here on planet Earth. And the Taya practice gives us the tools to raise our vibration and really be ahead of the curve and forget about flattening the curve. Let's be ahead of the curve and let's be healthy yeah. and let's be abundant and let's be joyful and let's have a higher perspective about everything that's going on in the world right now. When you are really in high vibration,
vibration, when you're really up your spiral, you view the world so differently. People don't bother you perhaps the way they once did. You don't need to be right. You don't need to argue. You don't need to worry about politics. When you let go of all of that stuff and just understand that you create your bubble of reality, and it's not about sitting on a mountaintop by yourself and, and meditating your life away. It's it's living life. It's it's eating salami and feeding it to dogs, apparently. <laughs> 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 and you're doing whatever you want to do without judgment. It's not religion at all. You can be as religious as you want to be. That's there's, there's This doesn't conflict with anything because there's no part of Taya that's telling you how to live your life. It's very much a mindset practice about releasing fear, raising your vibration, trusting the universe more, loving yourself more, and achieving through that high vibration that appreciation for all of humanity, appreciation for everything that's happened in your life up until now, even if you've had some nasty, unwanted things, a lot of us have. And when you find appreciation for those things and you realize and come to see how they've served your expansion, man, life is just very different because things aren't triggering you down anymore. Things aren't bothering you the way that perhaps they once did. People just don't bother you. If they don't mm -hmm. believe the way that you believe, it's fine. If people don't believe yeah. that the stream is real or that channeling is real or that law of attraction is real, I could care less. Go have your beliefs. If that's what serves you, <laughs> go do it. It's fine. I'm not here to convert the planet to, to streamism. You know? yeah, so anyway, yeah. with all of that, I want to thank all of you for listening. Thank, thank you so much, Stacey, for being on. I do thank appreciate you, thank it. Thank you for having me. And as always, great fun. Always, always. And visit the stream of david.com forward slash Taya, T Y A, to learn more about this practice that we're talking about and our Taya Bootcamp program. Thank you all so much for listening. Namaste. Thanks. Bye.